It's early as hell and I'm headed to work. Last night when I came home, my alarm went off to take out the trash. However, I was not in the mood so I left it and I knew that it wasn't really much trash. Anyways, just now when I was inside getting ready, I remembered seeing the trash and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna take it out when I'm going to work. <laughs> it took me coming down the damn stairs to remember that I didn't take it out and I'm not going back because it's too late because knowing me, I leave with just enough time. bought a pair of Crocs yesterday on Amazon that should be delivered today and I'm very excited however I just realized how much more comfortable my sneakers are because I'm wearing my sneakers today also I have a package that was delivered at this point three days ago and I have not seen it yet so I need to text my landlord to ask him to ask somebody to look downstairs to see if they see it because where the hell is my package and I needed to wear in like a day and a half I get so used to not wearing bras at home where I go through these little phases when I'm going to work where I just don't feel like wearing any. So like I bought these little like sports bra that are very relaxed, like no high compression or anything that I could wear underneath my scrubs and like still feel comfortable because I'd be feeling like I'm suffocating in the bra sometimes and it's like you can feel literally every single line on the bra and sometimes I'm really just over that. And right now, I happen to be going through that phase. Hi y'all, so just washed my hair because I have an event on Saturday and I wanna make sure that my hair is back in like a low bun or whatever for that event. I bought some, some Crocs on Amazon and I was super excited because I love Crocs and I had these things that I had bought for Julissa's birthday, but she ended up having some, so we did not. I just had them. So I just put them on here. I still have my other one, but the other one that I have, I bought it on Shein for $10, but around it, there are no holes for your toes to breathe. And this has like enough space to wear like my fuzzy socks when it starts cooling down a little bit. So love that for me. But um, I'm just here, I made some pasta yesterday. I'm gonna eat some of that right now for dinner and chill for the rest of the evening. But is that all? Yeah, that's all. That's all I bought, casually. That's all. Just getting home and I decided to stop at the Chinese spot because honestly, the Chinese food really hit, especially when you're tired and don't want to cook. And it's been a minute since I bought any. So I'm like, you know what? I think I'll treat myself in the form of Chinese food today. But I just that I made plans to come home and either go to the laundromat or like stop by go to laundromat or stop by the grocery store. I didn't do either. And I no longer have any desires <laughs> to do the laundry. The grocery store, I wouldn't be able to do anymore because I already passed it. Unless I was gonna order some groceries on Target and, or on like Amazon's like Whole Foods. Maybe I could do that. I had started putting some things in my cart so maybe I'll finish doing that. Do I wanna do that? Maybe I do. Yeah, maybe I do. I think I might do that. Honestly, you gotta pay for convenience. I'm tired and have no desires to cook. Also look like a little train wreck because work was a little out there today. So um, I think I'm gonna end up ordering some groceries online. Don't feel like cooking, but um, we're here. About to tear up this Chinese food. I bought two egg rolls and shrimp, broccoli, and pork fried rice. So that should be really good. Later this week, I have an appointment on the avenue. So I feel like I could just correlate all my chores that I have to do outside on that specific day and just do that. I wanna get some more scrubs because why not? So I think I'm gonna do that on Friday, actually. It's Friday when I have the appointment and then um, that should be it for that and the laundry, I could really do it any one of these days. This week I'm off two days, which is a luxury at this point in time. So I'm pretty sure I'll have time to do the laundry and I still have scrubs. That is the most important thing. Anything else, cause I barely wear anything when I'm home, but the scrubs I wear every single day at work. So like I'd be running out in no time, especially the stretches that I've been working, like some good seven day stretches, eight day stretches. So like 
need to figure that out. Hi y'all, so I just got home from work and it changed. Tomorrow would have been my ordeal, but that changed because today I was on one floor and like the supervisor asked me if I wanted to do a clinical tomorrow. And I'm like, I don't know. And she begged me and I'm like, okay, whatever, I'll do it. And then like shortly after she asked me if I wanted to do the clinical, um, they called in the office asking if I wanted to work instead. So I'm like, okay, you know what? It makes more sense to work instead of doing the clinical because I'll actually be here all day and it like makes more sense financially. I ordered these fragrances from Dossier and I just got them. I actually thought this was a, this one is supposed to be inspired by Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. The card in the back gives you all the information about the fragrance. So I have this one here, Oriental Oak, Oriental Oak Mask. This one I had before, so I know exactly what it smells like. And then I got um, Woody Rum. This one, I don't know what it smells like. This is a new one that I decided to try because it sounded like it smelled like something that I like. And this one is inspired by Killian, Straight From Heaven. So um, I'm gonna spray it on me to see. Um, I'm not too sure that I like how it smells when it's wet. So I'll give it a little minute to dry down. It literally smells like rum and wood. <laughs> and it's called woody rum. Um, it's a, the concentration in this one is 18%. The top notes in this one is rum, dry fruits, and nutmeg. Uh, you can smell the, maybe the nutmeg and the rum together. The middle notes are jasmine, cedarwood, and vanilla. I barely smell the vanilla so far. But like I said, I have to wait until it dries down. If I don't like how it smells on its own, then I'm gonna mix it with something else and chances are I like how it smells mixed better because the last time one of the fragrances that I had gotten I think was spicy vanilla it wasn't my favorite but when I mixed it it smelled really good and I appreciated it more and this says that the base notes are patchouli amber and sandalwood so I don't really know like it's drying down right now but I don't know so we'll have to see this one I, I had already bought before to Florence vanilla and this was one of my favorite ones along with musky musk which i also have in here i want to see oh this on its own i don't like it it literally smells kind of like cedar wood just on its own so i think i'll mix it with one of those other ones and that should be like a good combination and then i got musky musk again because musky musk was one of those ones that i had done like their quiz on there and uh, this is the fragrance that it recommended for me and honestly this is an amazing match to like what i specifically like for myself so that's amazing and I'm gonna put them on here so let me zoom y'all in a little bit wow my head looks so darn big so y'all can see what's going on this little part here is where I typically put them I'm gonna have to fix that shelf because it's literally like falling out of the wall and that's not it so I'm gonna have to do some work on that and then I'm gonna tear up these boxes I had expected to get oh how does big babes you gotta like zoom out I what I expected to get in the mail just now was this bracelet that I bought myself because I feel like these last um, couple of weeks, this last mo month, or like the, the last month to like the last six weeks, I've been working really, really hard. And I'm talking like six day weeks. One week I had worked um, seven days. And I mean like pretty much the whole week. However, I've been working like 11, 10, nine day stretches before my day off. And so I feel like because I've been working so hard, I want to treat myself. And that is something that I believe firmly in. You're working hard, treat yourself. Buy yourself something nice that you like as a reward for like the hard work that you've been putting in. And I find that when you do treat yourself, when other people treat you, it's like, okay, but it's not like, it's okay, but like you're used to being treated anyways, even if it's like by yourself. And I, I really like that. So, I always treat myself, whether it's for a birthday, for Christmas, for whatever, I always treat myself. So this is my treat to myself for this month. And th this is like the perfumes that, along with the, um, the bracelet. That didn't come in yet. And I keep checking FedEx, it's been delayed two days now and I'm trying to figure out if it is that they made a delivery attempt. Which I don't know why they do that. So I went on there and I updated that I wanted them to deliver it but leave it in the back um, of the house. At this point, I don't know if that's a good idea because I don't want them to play around and say they went back there and left it back there and it's literally not back there. So I don't know, they said they're supposed to be delivering it tomorrow and that's kind of the only reason I'm annoyed that I'm not going to be home tomorrow but it's not the end of the world. Like, it's okay. Last time I had bought something from Missouri, they said that they delivered it but it wasn't to my address because 
I literally never got the package and so they ended up giving me back my money but like I was so upset because I was so excited about it at the time it was a necklace that I had bought because I was into like you know layering the necklaces and whatever but now I'm like whatever <laughs> you know I already have one that I wear every day but I wanted to get one that was like a little bit longer I don't know that I love how this smells on me on its own so I can already tell that I think I'm gonna mix it with something else something more vanilla -y to like warm it up a little bit right now it smells very probably like masculine and typically I'd like um men fragrance because they're stronger but honestly this one is not hitting right now so I pulled out my little handy woman bag to see if I can fix the shelf from where the other one is because the other one is down here and it like still goes I need to take this automatic spurter off of the wall there and like really figure it out but I don't feel like doing it right now so that's gonna be another time but I really wanted to fix the wall so now that I got a chance to fix that well that's that I think I'm gonna order some groceries on Target I haven't figured out if I'm actually gonna do that yet but I think I just might I had the grand plan to come home and drink some wine because I thought that I wasn't gonna be going to work tomorrow, but I am. Even though the other evening I still drank some wine, even though I was gonna go to work, maybe I still will. It's for my Insta stories. Now, we do, oh, this is stupid good. This is what it looks like. I really like this. Oh, it tells you if it's like sweet or dry. It's called Enjoy Life, I guess. And at the back, it tells you that it is sweet as opposed to like dry. Delicious, sweet, red. Love that. So I'm gonna enjoy this along with some Netflix and I'll see you guys later.